Jacob, what's your name? Because he knew Jacob went and lied to Isaac to receive blessing. So he said to Jacob, sometimes God comes and answers, ask us. Like, like, like he went to Cain. He knows Cain already killed Abel. He said, Cain, where's your brother? <laughs> so sometimes God wants us wants to see whether we will say the truth or not. Or will we just also lie to God? You know when Ananias and Sapphira, Peter never asked them how much you sell the house. They lied. And because they lied, Peter said, you have not lied to me, but you have lied to the Spirit of God. And boom, they died. Just imagine if that will happen today. Every church will be filled with coffins. Every church will, everybody, because everybody lies. Lie, lying is like drinking water nowadays. People don't understand how serious it is and because it has become too common. And so we must be very careful. If you want God to use your tongue to, be a to become a messenger, to become his voice, then our tongue must be seasoned. Season. You must carry the flavor of God. You must carry the fragrance of God. When you speak, the atmosphere must change. And in order to create that atmosphere, you must be a person who has been dwelling in the presence of God. Because only then you can carry the flavor of God, the presence of God, the word of God, the manifestation of God, the glory of God, the fear of God in your life. If you don't have an encounter, how can you teach? If you don't have an experience, how can you be skillful? If you don't spend time learning about it, how will you know knowledge about it? And so only when you have the relationship with God, how can you talk about God if you don't spend time with God? Yes. How can you have a relationship with your wife if you don't know your wife intimately? And so we must have this intimate relationship, a close relationship with God, a face-to-face -face relationship with God, being transparent to the presence of God, saying, God, come and take control. The more you give yourself, the more you will fill us. The more you'll fill us. We must learn how to wait before Him. Always be filled with the baptism of fire. Be baptized in the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Be filled in the Holy Spirit. Baptism talking of, also talks about dying to your flesh and rising in the spirit. That's why the Bible says die daily. So that you can live for Christ. You cannot live for Christ if you are dwelling in your flesh. Only when you die to your flesh you can live for Christ. God is not asking us to die for Him. He's asking us to live for Him. Because we resemble His likeness. So when you die to your flesh, the power of the Holy Spirit will come upon you. When you are totally surrendered to God, you are totally filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. That is what happened in the book of Acts chapter 2. When you, are, you, lifted, when you lifted up yourself, when you surrender yourself, when there was no hope, when there was oneness, when there was one accord, when there was a spirit of unison, the power of the Holy Spirit came upon each and every one of us. And the Bible says the first thing that happened is the Holy Spirit came upon our tongue. Tune our tongue, the frequency, to the language of heaven. And then you see a man that is illiterate, the man who never go to school properly, a fisherman standing in the midst of the crowd and speaking with so much of confidence and boldness. And they were saying, who is this fellow, fisherman? How can he speak like this? Sometimes people judge us 
from our past. But they do not know the journey we've been through. They said to Nathaniel, we have found the Messiah. And he said, where is he? He's from Nazareth. And then he said, Nazareth? What good can come out of Nazareth? Nazareth will pull a place, place full of teeth. Oh, they are, they are the poor people there. They are people who are making things there. Sometimes people look down on us because of our past. And they judge us by it. But they never look the journey we've been through. The wilderness that we have been through. The experience that made us, the experience with God that brought us and gave us strength to overcome and to become a vessel of God. God is not looking at your past, but He's looking at how much you're making yourself available. If you will make yourself available, he will surely use you. He will surely empower you and enable you. He's saying to each and every one of us that if you will be filled with God, if you will be filled with God, God will surely bless you. God will surely bless you. The Bible says when when they were looking at Peter, how is this fellow fisherman talking with so much of wisdom, clarity, understanding of the Torah? And then they realize this is Peter who was with Jesus. This is Peter who was always with Jesus. This is Peter where Jesus said, Upon this rock I shall be, build my church and no gates of hell shall come against it. No gates of hell shall prevail against it. This is Peter who walked on water with Jesus. This is the same Peter when Jesus stand on his boat and Peter's boat was filled with fishes. This is Peter. When he was in the garden of Gethsemane, Peter was there. This was Peter that was in me when he was drowning in the sea. Jesus stand in the sea and lift him up. This is Peter who was one of them who were feeding the 5,000. And so in order for you to have, receive full affirmation from the people, you must have a relationship with God. If you are a person who are in prayer, who knows the word of God, God said, go and minister. He said, go and be my witness. The Bible says in Mark chapter 16, God confirmed his word with signs and wonders following. If you will speak the word of God in truth, in purity, as our God puts in your ear, put in your heart. God said, I will confirm my word with signs and wonders. Signs and wonders will come when you speak his word. As his genuine voice. Genu genuine voice. Nothing added. Nothing removed. But completely as what he says. So learn to activate your faith. Edify one another in the spirit. Sharpen one another. As iron sharpens iron, sharpens one another. Sharpen your faith. Sharpen the word of God in you. Sharpen the gift of God within you. And learn to open yourself towards the spiritual dimension. Learn to open yourself in spiritual di dimension. And then you will be able to see the things of the spirit. You will be able to see how God will empower you. You know, to, to train your, your, your tongue, your, your, your spiritual life or, your, or, your, or, your, or your, your communication with the presence of God or your prayer life. 
you must have continuous prayer. Your prayer life is very important. And so in order for you to be strong in your prayer, to strengthen your spirit, man, you have to really pray in tongues. Because praying in tongues gives you open doors towards open heavens. Because when you're speaking in tongues, you're speaking in heavenly language. And the devil doesn't understand it. Demonic kingdom trembles when you pray in tongues. You know, when you are praying in the spirit, you are praying towards the heart of God. You might, you, you know, when you speak in your earthly language, whatever language we are speaking, we understand what we are speaking. But when we pray in our spirit, the Holy Spirit fills us in such a manner that our spirit man brings up to God the exact thing that is needed. And so it's important for us to unlock ourselves to a spiritual realms and dimensions of the spirit. Because when you pray in tongues, it will give you spiritual <coughs> understanding of God's mysteries. When you pray in tongues, it gives you it gives you access for other revelation gifts. When you pray in tongues, you will be able to read the Bible in a new way. You will see that certain words when you read, soon it come out, it zoom out. And God says, "Oh, this is what you want to do." When you're speaking in tongues, you're speaking directly to God. When you're speaking to God, when you're speaking in tongues, it empowers you to engage with spiritual warfare in the position of a, vic of a victor. It, when you speak in tongues, it has already positioned you to pray in the spirit from a position of a champion, of a victor. To tell the devil, it is finished. The Lord has won the war. It's over. And so we must know this. Don't let the enemy deceive you anymore. Yes. Because when you pray in tongues, it is without boundaries. When you speak in tongues, do not just speak it in few words. Don't try not to allow repetitions of the same thing. Learn to form words in the spirit. Learn to grow. Learn to mature in the spirit. You know, like our children go to our go to school. They go to nursery, kindergarten. What do you call your estika? Estika. Uh, uh, estika. You go. You go for primary school. You go for second. Uh, you know, when, when you go to school, as you grow, you learn more. You don't learn the same thing what you learn in kindergarten in a secondary school. Alright. And so we must also mature in tongues. We must learn to form tongues into a language. Learn to form tongues. Mature in your tongues. You cannot be being filled with God 12 years ago and just speak la 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 la. Anybody can speak la 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 la. You know. But God wants you to speak, develop that gift, the relationship. Some people, it's very funny the way they speak in tongues. It's like machine gun. You know, I sometimes I don't know how to pray or whether to laugh. <laughs> really? The way they pray is so funny. But it's a gift of the spirit. But the thing is, they fail to develop that gift of tongues. Because you must learn to. Make it to words. You cannot be. You know, there's some people that sanda, 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 sanda. I don't know. I don't understand. You know, you must learn. Maybe, like, like, like when I when I started to speak in tongues, my 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 first few words was. Rabala, 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 rabala. That was my first few words, and then after after that it was. Uh, you know, you know it, it was like that. But I didn't continue to speak like that. 
I learned to form into a language. Mm -hmm. Then I understood. And no, and you grow in your tongues as you develop the relationship with God. And so you develop the speak, speaking of tongues. And so there's stages and diversity of tongues. Maturity of speaking in tongues. And so when you pray in tongues, you're praying according to the will of the Father. And so you are not distracted in your flesh. When you're praying in tongues, it gives you the insurance of the spirit of adoption where you are knitted in the spirit and he is your father. It helps us overcome the weakness of our flesh. When you pray in tongues, it builds you up spiritually, increases the water level of faith in you to grow higher. It keeps us walking closer and deeper in the love of God. It brings rest and refreshing to our spirit man. It optimizes a pathway to praise and magnify God. It will enable your spirit man to receive fresh revelations. It helps to stir the spirit of God within you. In any condition that you go, when you speak, people will get stirred up. Have you realized when you go to a place when you pray, because of you praying, people of God is revived. The people beside you is revived. Your prayer is stirring their inner man. It must be like that. When, when Mary was carrying Jesus in her belly, when she, she was carrying Jesus in her, when she met Elizabeth, the Bible says when the moment Elizabeth met Mary, the spirit, the baby within Elizabeth leaped. God wants you to know if you are carrying something, God wants you to know you're carrying God in you. And when you, when you get encounter with people with the same like-minded spirit, their spirit will leap. If you get in contact with people who are hungering and thirsting for God, the spirit man within you will be leaping within you to get connected with a person because you are like-minded people because you can sharpen iron, iron sharpen like iron sharpens iron. God will use you to sharpen one another. The more the iron sharpens with iron or a rock sharpens with another rock, you know what comes? Fire comes. That is what God is saying. Sometimes you do not know who you are when you are together. I will cause fire to burn out of you. I will cause fire to burn up out of you. And so God wants us to know the secret of walking in the power of the Spirit is walking in the love of God. Secret of power of walking in the Spirit of God. You must be filled with the love of God. I can share to you so many things somehow. So many things somehow. I, I, I can go non-stop. I can go non-stop. But I want to pray for each and every one of you. And so that you understand. You understand that God is serious with us. God is serious with us. God wants you to know that once He calls you as a vessel of God, He wants to use you as an instrument, yes. as a voice, to prepare the way for His coming. Yes. And so, He wants you to open up yourself towards the inner voice of the Holy Spirit. The inner witness of the Holy Spirit. 
in order for that to take place. You must learn to develop a continuous hunger mm -hmm. and intensity in the Spirit of God. You must have passion for the love of God, for the things of God. Pass passion for the zeal that, burn, that burns within our heart. That consume our 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 thinking pattern, our thought patterns, our mindset, our motivation, our action. Passion to be strengthened in the spirit and to rise above every circumstances in our life. Passion of God to produce intensity of character development. Passion to bring His work into alignment and focus in our life. God wants to use each and every one of us. And He wants to use us in a powerful manner. He wants us to be, be strong in our spirit. Renew your mind with the mind of Christ. Develop a healthy mind. Speak positive and avoid negativity. Yes. Build yourself in the word of God. Amen. Build yourself in the spirit of truth yes. and revelation. Yes. Believe in the impossibles. Yes. Yes. Believe in the impossible for you, for your family, yes. for your loved ones, for your church and for your ministry. Learn to get connected to heaven. And become an agent of change. An agent of transformation upon your surrounding. Like the word of God that I always love. Romans 8, 19. For the kingdom of this world is awaiting with earnest expectation. For the revealing and the manifestation of the children of God. The kingdom of this world is awaiting. Yes. Yes. The creation is awaiting yes. for the manifestation and the revealing of the children of God. If you will position yourself and say, Lord, here we are, your children. Yes. Yes. Fill us, Lord, that we may manifest your spirit, that we may manifest yes. your fire, that Amen. we may manifest your love Amen. upon the kingdom of this world. God will fill us. Yes. Amen. Father, we pray and we ask of you, Lord, that you will touch each and every one of us who are here. Touch each and every one who are even seeing and watching and listening to this message, Lord. I pray that you, are, that you will open their hearts, open their ears. Let your spirit be stirred, oh, Father. Let the gifts of the Holy Spirit be activated within them. Let the power of God come. Let the power of God arise within them. Let Jesus arise within them. Let the power of the Holy Spirit rise within them. Let you alone be glorified. Let Jesus be glorified. Let Jesus be glorified. Oh, we give you glory, Lord Jesus. Oh, come, Lord, come and take control. Oh, come and take control, Lord Jesus. There is no other who is like you. There is no other who is like you, Lord. Come, Lord, and fill each and every one of us. Mature us, Lord, to a position of sonship. Mature us, Lord, to understand your word. Mature us, Lord, to be a person who is discerning and diligent in the spirit yes, Lord. mature us to be sober and vigilant in the spirit yes. Yes. be anxious for nothing but in all things with prayer and supplication Amen. rejoice and rejoice in me says the Lord 
Be filled and be consumed of the Holy Spirit. Rebuild. Rebuild your life in a new measure. Rebuild your life in a new way from now onwards. A new day is breaking forth. A new day of breakthrough. A new day of encounter. A new day of His presence. A new day of promotion. That is birthing forth. A season that is breaking forth. Is coming your way. Oh, we give you glory and give you honor. Fill each and every one of us. Fill each and every one of us. Oh, we exalt you, exalt you, exalt you, exalt you, exalt you, Lord. Exalt you. Oh, we give you praise and we give you glory. Oh, Rahana Mashanda Halabo Sande. Le Paratono Mozande Helekabayo Sakabahaya. Landre Kehora Basata Bahaya. Oh, let your presence come and fill this place. Let your presence come and fill this place, Lord. We want more of you. We want to experience more of you. Experience more of you. Use us, Lord. Use us. Change us. Transform us. Oh, purify us, Lord. Oh, we exalt you and magnify you. We exalt you and magnify you. Spirit of God, come. Holy Spirit, come. Teach us, Holy Spirit. Let the will and the purpose of God take place, O oh Father. We give you all glory and give you honor. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we ask and we pray. All that we have learned, let, it put, let us put into practice. And remind us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we give you glory. We give you power. And we give you dominion. And in Jesus' name, Amen. God give you glory, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you.